welcome back to my channel. So it's been a little bit since I've made a video. Uh, I think the last one I put up was the $5 Goodwill Challenge. And I have just been going kind of crazy over here. And I just, I don't know, it's, I've put videos kind of to the back for the past week or so. I've been under so much stress. Um, I guess this is kind of like a vlog thing and I'll just talk to you guys about it. So I've mentioned before on my channel that I do suffer from anxiety and things. And so my doctor that I go to, I've, I've mentioned before that I've seen a doctor too. So this is all nothing new, but he passed away. Um, so he's part of a practice and I figure I'm just going to have to get a different doctor in the practice. So I called to make an appointment, which is hard enough for me because my anxiety is centered around going to the doctors or being places that I feel like I can't leave. So making the appointment and like going and stuff, that, that kind of is like a trigger for me too, but I still do it because it's better than not. Um, so anyways, I called to make the appointment and they're like, um, okay, so this doctor is taking over all the other one's patients and his next appointment is at the end of July. So, I mean, that's like, like, really? I said, you know, I was kind of like, I just didn't understand it. So I was basically, I'm going to be honest, I was in tears on the phone. I mean, I apologize that I cried in front of her, but I mean, at that point I felt like so stressed out, like, I don't know what I'm going to do. So I have figured it out since then. I found out that my health insurance offers um, like teleconferencing for stuff like that. So in the meantime, you know, it's, it's something that'll like hold me over. So it's all going to work out, but sometimes things like that where... I don't know, I feel, I don't want to say normal people, but like people that don't suffer from anxiety or things like that, I feel like I don't bounce through things as well. Um, like you get down and it's just take, it takes a little bit longer. And then I've been stressing out about Macy because you guys all know that she has cancer. I've men mentioned before that she's got leukemia and I've just, I'm so stressed out about that always, like since she's gotten her diagnosis. So, I mean, I know that we have gotten so lucky because she got diagnosed, it, the average was one to two years, and we're going on like four or five now. So, I know I've gotten lucky, but I'm still, I, I don't know, I'm just not going to, I'm never going to be ready. Um, but she's been acting picky with her food. So, it's not that she doesn't want to eat, it's that she doesn't want to eat the food that I that we give her. So, we tried switching brands, and we switched brands like... I don't know, four or five times. And then I started cooking for her and she ate that for a while. And it's like she'll eat for a week and then she gets tired of that food. But it's not where she's tired of eating. So, I mean, it's, you know what I mean? It's not like she stopped eating. She just doesn't want to eat the healthy stuff. She wants me to give her like human food. So it's, you know, mealtime is, it can be stressful. And I just, I want her to be happy, you know? But I also don't want to feed her garbage. So it's been like a struggle trying to uh, come up with like diets and things for her. So I mean, she's um, she's been doing better these past few days. I want to cross my fingers. I hope I didn't jinx it. But I don't know. Maybe she was just tired of what she was eating. Maybe she had a stomach bug. So hopefully that's that and it'll get a little bit back to normal. I mean, I don't mind cooking for her. If she wants the food I'm cooking, I'm great with that. It just breaks my heart when I cook what I was doing I was making chicken with a little bit of green beans a little bit of rice a little bit of egg and then I do a, like the tiniest pinch of turmeric um I don't want to get too sciencey but I did read studies where sometimes it helps inflammation and it can sometimes help with like blood or bone cancers so I would you know it's kind of like a Hail Mary I know it's not going to cure it but if it can buy us time I'm, I'm down for it but I mean if she eats that I'll cook forever for her I don't care but when I cook it and then she get, she looks like she's going to eat it and then she just turns her nose, it breaks my heart. So, I mean, we've been kind of switching it up. She'll eat the kibble one night and then some, the other night she'll have what I make her. And we've been getting her to eat a normal amount. So, I mean, we're, it's, it's, not, it's not the end. It's not terrible. But I don't know. It's, it's just so hard sometimes. And, I mean, it's, it's got to be like, it's probably similar to how, like, kid moms feel 
Um, I know people, sometimes when you're a dog mom, they, it's different. People look at it differently. But to me, she is my kid. And I feel like the same emotions that other people feel. And it's just hard for me. And then when stuff like this happens, I mean, I love YouTube. I love making videos. But you kind of feel like the things that are really important in life, you try and concentrate on them. And you try and just get through the time. So, I mean, she's feeling a little better. Everything seems to be kind of like evening out and I'm I made a plant video Which I will have still have to edit this one will be up before the plant video But I kind of just wanted to let you guys know what was going on. I'm not like dropping off of YouTube or anything I just had a really rough week. So I needed to kind of take a break for myself for those few days um, and hopefully fingers crossed things will keep getting better now and uh, Yeah, so I mean that's what's been up I missed you guys and uh, stay tuned for that plant video. I should have it up probably by the end of the week.